from Sagittarius Capricorn to your end of the month reading for January. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and new and new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Getting straight into your energy of what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. Sagittarius Capricorn. Sag Cap. Just put in Sag Cap's energy, please. Looks like a little misfortune. Um, might be feeling like you're having a little bit of bad luck right now. Just out of, I don't know. It feels like it's just out of the blue, guys. Just like, bam, just bad luck. Um, all of a sudden, the dishwasher's dead. And then all of a sudden, I don't know, you know, they run in those threes. And then all of a sudden... I have to fix a light, and then this happened, and that happened. It just feels like a little misfortune. Um, does feel like you are waiting for the change, though. It could even be a little misfortune in love. It just feels like a little misfortune, you know, wherever it is that it's happening in your life. Um, yeah, it doesn't feel very fortunate. So, clarifying on the Wheel of Fortune upside down. This card's not only going to clarify on the Wheel of Fortune upside down, but the entire re reading. <clears throat> yeah, it's all about prosperity begins. It just feels like, just out of the blue, guys. What happened, right? What happened? Why did it go not in my favor? What is going on? Hopefully it's just for the end of the month, right? Hopefully it'll turn back around. Maybe it's just the end of the month thing. Uh, maybe it was for some of you. I don't know. It doesn't feel like very long. It says your partnerships and alliances are upside down. You may have had a little fight with someone. Um, disagreements. Yeah, you had love begins. Things that you love. It doesn't have to be love itself. It's just the things that you love. Everything seems fine. And then all of a sudden this mental conflict comes in in the near future. So it feels like the Wheel of Fortune is not quite turned in your favor just yet. It's still causing a little mental conflict. Um, you do have the three cards over here, which is talking about harmony. And that's funny. It says one, two, three. <laughs> so very interesting. Not having the harmony and then having a little imbalance over here. Okay, so... <clears throat> But just remember that misfortune is only temporary. It's not going to last forever. Um, you know, the wheel will turn back in your favor sooner or later. Hopefully we'll see it come back up in the near future over here. Um, seeing how long this lasts. Looks like it's going to go straight into February. Um, either that or you're getting out of it. We'll just figure out what the mental conflict is. It doesn't feel very long though, guys. And I know, you know, even if it's three weeks, that seems long enough, right? It's like, it's like feels never ending, right? Even if it was for the whole month, it's like, my gosh. Yeah, you have to, uh, it was like love begins where you let things go. It feels like the things that you love, you went back to the basics. Um, it was kind of like there was this, maybe even this resistance by a Scorpio. Um, was a Scorpio resisting your love? Was a Scorpio resisting the things you love, like I want to go to the beach and you don't want to go, or, you know, I want to watch this movie and you don't seem to want to do anything that I love at this time, um, which then kind of made you go back to the basics of things that you love. Um, Six of Pentacles, it felt like you were helping people, um, could have been helping a lot of people out. Um, somebody may have been helping you out because you were maybe, um, you were having a rough time struggling. No. Definitely over emotional. Could have been helping someone else out or they could have been helping you out. However it was, it was making you a little over emotional, a little imbalance. I see the imbalance coming through. Um, definitely could be dealing with a water sign, my friends. 
um, Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces. Um, I did see that for a lot of you. Um, and there was just this, I don't know, I'm going to say resistance. Maybe you were giving them a lot of attention and you were helping them out and you were looking for the balance and maybe they just couldn't um, give back. Maybe you gave to them a lot when they were in trouble and you went to ask them for help and they didn't give it back. Huh. So with the partnerships and alliances over here, this really made that go upside down. Um, even if you were putting in more time at work, maybe you were giving your days to someone else and then you needed days and they wouldn't give you their days. Something is going on, right? Something is going on. Um, where I'm giving and you're not, well, I gave a lot to you and I expected this back from you and you did not do that for me, something like that. So you have partnerships and alliances over here and this is where the prosperity, you know, with the prosperity begins over here, it feels more like I wanted the prosperity to begin, but there was a resistance to get to my prosperity begins. Um, and it even feels like there was a time where it felt like the prosperity was beginning and then it lapsed um, and it took you back to the basics. You just almost like you had to start kind of all over again um, or wanting to, trying to get that fruit to, um, you know, to grow. With the, man, with the partnerships and alliances over here, you do have the ace of wands. Someone, bad luck. Bad cycles, bad luck. We're not getting along. Why? Why all of a sudden did it just change from, you know, and maybe you didn't have the greatest luck to begin with, but you definitely feel the bad luck. Um, before you might not have felt so lucky. Um, and that's just normal, right? Because everything was just fine. It didn't feel like I had great fortune, great luck. Um, but man, I tell you guys, when bad luck comes in, we sure do feel the bad luck. When you're super lucky and that Wheel of Fortune is right side up, you do feel the super lucky. Otherwise, life is just life and it just moves on. Um, and that's the way it kind of felt in the past um, until all of a sudden it just felt right here. <laughs> Things are not going in my favor. I don't understand what the heck is going on. Um, look, your cup is upside down. Your emotions are upside down. Did this person push you away with the death card? Um, for some of you... This person just up and decided that they didn't want to be your friend anymore. Um, just out of the blue, right? And you couldn't understand because we had this fairness. We had this great friendship. We had this, you know, I had this great job. Maybe they fired me and I don't understand why. Um, why did this all happen? And it just feels like there's a lot of whys going on over here. How's it? How did this happen? Why did this happen? And I feel that over here with the Ace of Wands too, because the Ace is in action. So there's a lot of um, whys and hows and, you know, stuff of this nature because everything seems so happy. It's like, how did it lose its luster? How did this relationship lose its luster? How did this separation happen? How did I lose my job? How is this possible? Um, everything was going great between me and this person or this job, take it how it resonates. And then all of a sudden it just all came crashing down. Um, and but you don't understand because as you're mentally kind of thinking about it, you had the three of cups. Everything was fine. You felt your prosperity was beginning and then all of a sudden it just lost focus. Look at that. Yes, it did lose its focus. It lost its focus. Um, they lost focus on you. Um, it just feels like it just happens so fast. Um, if you were in a really heated relationship, I don't know. Who this is for but i'm feeling this you're in a very heated relationship let's say with a water sign everything was romantic everything was wonderful you were giving fairly to each other and then all of a sudden they lost focus and they just kind of pushed you away and you're trying to ask the whys and hows of this relationship it was almost like it was temporary with the death card upside down it was something that almost feels like it wasn't meant to be forever it was just a temporary love relationship Maybe it's just a temporary friendship. I don't know. But it was something that you wanted to get more connected with this person. You were moving towards the things you love. You wanted the love to begin. Um, you wanted the companionship. Um, no matter who it was, family, whoever it was, it felt healthy. And you guys had a lot in common. 
So this is why those, I, I feel a lot of, conf this is where the mental conflict is coming, this is where that confusion is coming in. I think the more you're starting to think about it and the more that you go back and forth and within your head to figure out how this all happened and why, how did you get such bad fortune out of the blue, it's going to cause this mental conflict. So right now, I think you're going back through the pros and cons of what in the heck is going on, trying to figure things out. Yep, the king of wands. Why is the king of wands, um, which is yourself more than likely, it kind of upsets you. It kind of is... You guys might be kind of contradicting the whole situation within your mind. Um, for instance, uh, when you contradict yourself, it would be more like, well, we had a lot in common, so I so know they're coming back. And then you go back and you tell yourself, contradicting things like, no, they're never coming back. So it's like you, you come up with one kind of conclusion, and then you come to the conclusion that you over, it's almost like you, you're telling yourself one thing and then turning around telling yourself another thing. It's like you're contradicting yourself. You might even be kind of manipulating your own story um, for yourself to stay happy. Um, maybe you try to tell yourself, I didn't really care about them anyway, so you know what, who cares, right? They wanna play those games, whatever. But then you go back into your room and you're like, I don't understand why they're not here. Right, so it's kind of only, it's kind of almost like manipulating your own feelings, um, especially against the two of cups over here. I really see manipulating your own feelings. Um, and that's just because you're trying to figure out what the heck went on. And if you are dealing with a, another fire sign, or even, you know, even this other person, this other person could be really mad and maybe you're trying to figure out why they're mad. What made them mad? What, how, what in the, no matter what, it's the what's, ifs, and hows of this whole thing. And it's just this bad luck and you can't figure this out. And on the other hand, my friends, if it's nothing to do with any of these things, um, let's say that the alliances is your, I, I just heard it too. Your alliances could be your appliances, right? Does that make sense? The alliances could be your appliances. Because um, I, I just heard Spirit say that this has nothing for some, of, for some of you to do with anyone at all. It's actually partnerships and appliances. Um, the appliances are kind of your own allies. Um, I know it seems weird, but if you think about it, it's true. Your dishwasher is your, is your dishwasher. Your laundry is your laundry washer. These are things that if we had a maid, they would be doing for us. So the alliances could be your appliances and you could be saying, I just bought this washer, okay? I just bought this washing machine. How in the world did it get broken? Why would it go down? I've only had it for seven months, right? And then all of a sudden, you know, it's bad things run in threes, right? What do you mean the light, the light on the porch is broke, come on. And then all of a sudden, your car tire pops, right? You're going down the road, and then all of a sudden, come on. And you know what I'm saying? We've all been there. Um, so sometimes I'm going to say, for some of you, this is appliances, not alliances, okay? Um, and you're trying to figure out and manipulate the situation of why this could be happening. Why do I have such bad luck? Why does it all have to come down to this? Because it's natural. Everybody has this problem, unfortunately. Um, and it's just your turn, <laughs> right? It's your turn. Mine was in the past with my computer and, you know, then my router went down and then my, you know, then I was hacked on my PlayStation. You know what I mean? Like we've all had our pieces. Um, and so, yeah. So for some of you, that is the point and it's crappy. Okay, so take it how it resonates. But you have the Ace of Pentacles. It's almost like you're waiting for the hopefulness and it feels like the hopefulness of the prosperity to begin. You're waiting for things to be fixed. You're hoping to make more money to fix them. Um, and you're waiting for that good fortune to turn around and you're saying, come on, I need this new beginning. You know, and it feels weird because I think to you, you felt in one time, you had all your hopes and promises coming through, everything was going great, and then this all happened. Okay. 
anyway. So it's giving you mental conflict because, you know, that's just the, you know, that's the way it is. Like I said, I felt a lot of confusion over here. Uh, six of swords, you're going to be fine. You're going to move past the mental conflict. Everything's going to be just fine. You're going to have the beliefs and, and everything's going to start coming back together. Everything's going to be okay. Um, you're going to start getting out of your head about what's going on, about the, uh, you know, what's ifs and wants and what and all that. Um, and it's going to start kind of balancing itself out um, within your mind, having the understanding. Stuff breaks. It does suck. Because I'm telling you, it feels temporary. Um, the imprints. Could have somebody coming back to help you. Um, it feels like the imprints is a helping hand. Maybe that's what you're asking for, is a helping hand. Come on, Lord, help me out over here, right, with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, and it does feel like the imprints is coming in to help you out a little bit. Um, yeah, definitely coming out to help you. Look at that. So where you didn't feel like you had any help, it does feel like somebody might be coming in to help you. Um, maybe you hired someone who's a little cheaper than someone else um, to come in and fix that dishwasher who's actually going to save you some money. Um, there is some success and growth going back. So it does feel like the wheel might be turning back in your favor now that, you know, um, that it's all done and over with. Clarify on the three of pentacles. Doesn't mean it's 100% change, my friends. It just means it's like this, right? It's like before it keeps turning. Oh, right. So it does feel a little more promising and a little more hopeful towards the end. Um, getting into, I would say, February over here. You're starting to see a little more progress. Um, yeah, four of wands, your household. It's, I'm telling you, some people are having some household issues. Um, I'm definitely appliances over here. Um, you're starting to get your house a little, you know, there is more hope. We see the hope now twice. So um, it seems a little more promising. Roof's not leaking anymore. I fixed the patch. Um, things are going a little more in my favor. I found people to come and do that for cheaper than what the other guy wanted. Um, you know, wheeled and dealed over here to get things done. And things are coming more into your favor with the four of wands. Um, if it's a relationship within other people, it feels like you have... They've kind of come back um, around. It's kind of weird, but they did. Maybe you felt that they ghosted you, but they didn't 100% ghost you. Um, but however it is, they're coming to, you know, to talk to you. They're coming back around. I mean, if it's a job, you're just more hopeful that you're going to get this new job because um, I do see someone lost their job. Um, and you're going to be noticed. You're going to put those resumes out and you're going to have a little better look coming in like February for people to have some more interviews because I see interviews over there. Okay, you're just going to hold on tight to some money. For some of you, um, it costs a lot of money to get these appliances fixed. Um, and you're now saving more money, holding tightly to money at this time because you've put so much money out. Um, with others of you, you feel like your relationship to this other person is growing. Um, they have come back. Um, there is some connection going on. Um, and you're holding tight to, to that. Taking control back in that area. Yeah, good messages coming in. And it does feel like the better judgment call is coming in your favor now. Now, this is very favorable. Look, the, like I said, the Wheel of Fortune might not show up, right? Okay, so fine. The Wheel of Fortune is not completely done, but you do have the judgment. And judgment is kind of its own little fortune over here. So it is showing that good news and relief. Now, this is a card of relief. So where you felt like you had really, really bad luck, um, there is a relief going on, right? And that's good. So that does not mean that, you know, your luck is 100% changed. It doesn't mean that, you know, all of that is going on. You have the awareness and discernments of understanding what's going on. And that's what the Wheel of Fortune is also telling you is watch for the awareness of discerning things that are going to come your way, right? Um, but you have the judgment over here that's telling you, okay, you have the relief now. Everything's fine. You fixed it. This is happening. That's happening. They're coming back to talk to you. 
Um, so everything that seemed just kind of all messed up all over the place and really bad love, um, the discernment. Now, this is a different kind of discernment, right? So you have discernment over here about bad things happening. Now you have discernment of good things happening because this is answered prayers. Things are getting done. Um, good news is coming your way. So you have two different kinds of discernment. Um, okay, so that's very good. And then it feels like you can just move forward now um, waiting for the Wheel of Fortune to at least just, you know what, just be sideways. Okay, that way I just know that life is just normal. Um, <laughs> you know, it's like I'm just waiting for it to just be normal again. Okay, fine. If I'm not going to have complete good luck where I'm going to win the lottery and everything's going to go in my way, please don't let it be upside down anymore. Right? So you're just kind of waiting for it to just turn away from this, right? Um, and that's good, though, because it does show that after the judgment does come this new chapter. And the new chapter is going to help that Wheel of Fortune move a little bit as well. Um, you know, and it's showing, yeah. It's going to give you different directions, different directions. So if you lost your job, it could literally be that it was just a moment for you to change things around. Um, you know, that that's just the way it was. New path is coming. Um, they wanted you to get out of that job to get a new job because it wasn't, you know, even though you felt it was serving you well, maybe it really wasn't, right? Maybe there was too much emotional drainage coming from this job. Um, and maybe that's what the awareness is. Maybe that's what the Wheel of Fortune is as well, you guys. Maybe it wanted you to be aware of the draining that you're putting into. I mean, look, the queen is upside down. It's draining cups. Maybe there was too much draining things going on over here. Maybe your washing machine was, you know, driving you crazy, for, you know, to begin with and you needed a new one. Maybe it was draining. Um, and maybe it was old and you know it needed to be replaced, you know or it was already had broken pieces or something, you know? So what it is, is it's kind of waking you up um, to make you understand that things need to be replaced, things need to be removed, um, things that were good for you could come back together in different ways, because um, it does look like whoever this person is, you might have a conversation about the way things need to be. Um, okay, so not... I know it's crappy to think like that, but, you know, like, oh, man, I hate when bad luck happens. But there is always this good thing about it. Um, it makes change. I know it's crappy because you have to spend money on things. I know. I hate that, too. But in the end, it's just the way life was, right? Things are going to break. So there is success coming after this. Yeah, in the next few weeks. So this is going to go on for the next few weeks, my friends. Um, okay, so just kind of be aware of what directions is going on um, within your life. Was it necessary for some of these things to um, go away? Was the job that I like so much because I got a lot of money out of it, but it caused me a lot of heartache or maybe it kept me away from my family too much? Um, something, try to figure out what it is, you know, by digging deep to what, what it is and why maybe it needed to um, go away for a new chapter to start, right? Ask your angels will be great with the two of swords. So, okay. And that was it for you, my friends. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.